Okay, so one of the new features in Speak for Yourself version 4.4 is going to be page sharing. This is a feature that's long overdue and that we have really been wanting to get into the app for a long time. I'm really excited about how it works. So here's an example. This page is a page of characters that this little guy has and he really loves this page, favorite, um, but he is not the only one that loves all of these characters. So what I can do is go in here to settings and I say, you know what? This other child would really like this page too. Sorry, I'm going to share it. So um, what you're gonna do, sorry, is go into vocabulary and go share a page. All right, so now you, your different options come up. If you are um, near the child, you can, you know, share it to them through AirDrop. You can also save it to files um, and then you'll have that in here. So if you're a speech pathologist and you have a lot of kids settings on your device, you can import them, you know, sh save all the pages to their various settings and then AirDrop it back to the students. But um, for this, I have another child's iPad, not really, but it's another, just say, it's another child's iPad and I have it right here. So I'm going to say, I wanna AirDrop it to Heidi's iPad. All right, so now I've airdropped it with Speak for Yourself. I can all, I can either save it into the files on this iPad or I can import it into Speak for Yourself. So I'm gonna to choose to import the page. And it's saying like whatever page you import it over, um, it's gonna be permanent in your current vocabulary. So make sure you wanna do that. So I'm gonna say, yep, I do, import. Um, what it does now is it shows me all of the pages that I have room to import that page, which is really cool. Um, if I, if I do say so myself, but also credit to our developer, um, for getting it exactly the way we want it. So I can look and say, oh, you know what? He has all these characters. Where do I want to put them? I usually put them under the, just because, um, there's not anything else on that page. And, you know, once a student knows where uh, those favorite things are, they're definitely going to be able to find them. So I'm just going to say, you know what, let's put them under the, but it's nice because you can go through and you, if you think that they should be under all, like all of his favorite characters or mine, um, you can certainly do that. Mine is, you know, like a, um, you know, mine has a, the person on it. So maybe for a lot of the kids, you know, those characters would be people. Um, a lot of them are people, just <laughs> characters. But anyway, I'm going to select the, and then what it does is it shows me what it's going to look like. Now, if I'm like, oh, that doesn't look like I wanted it to, or I'm gonna run out of room for the PBS Kids, you know, guys, or Arthur, you know, so I can um, I can say no, cancel, I don't wanna do that. And then what it'll let me do is I can go um, in here and I can export it again. If I had it saved to files, then I could, I would be able to, I'm gonna send it to myself again. But if I had it saved to files, I would be able to um, import it from there. But now say I'm like, you know what? I like it better under mine. I talked myself into that. You know, they're people, they're characters. And now it shows me what they would look like under mine. So, um, and if I'm happy with this, I can say done. And now that's it. I have all of the, I have that page in here. And do you see it, it linked mine to the secondary screen? And now I have all these guys. If I forget, if I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't know where I put them, I can always search for them because now all of those characters are in my device. So I can say, oh, where are the Paw Patrol guys? And there they are. Paw Patrol. So that is page sharing in the new um, version 4.4 of Speak for Yourself.